what's up guys i'm back with a uh, video on my 2022 f-150 now this is for the bed extender now if, it, if you bought a ford bed extender this part number right here you can pause the video and take a look at it and your truck has these holes that are not threaded which i don't know what the heck happened with ford I took it to the dealership and the guy was mind boggled. We looked at another 22 on the lot. He had threaded holes. So instead of waiting for him to contact Ford, which he said he was gonna do, I just decided to do my own, my own fix. So what you gotta do is you gotta remove your headlights, which is on each side two uh, eight millimeter bolts, which is right here, right here. And if you take your headlight out, take the wires off, the hole's right here. So you can get to it. So I can stick my finger through it. So what I came up with was, what I'm going to do is, uh, I got my own bolts. I got a uh, 7 16th dash 14 flange hex nut. I went to Lowe's. I got a washer and a, I think it's some kind of plastic, uh, washer also just to put against the paint and then some split lock washers I'm gonna throw on there what this kit comes with you get these uh, these big bolts that use a t50 hex these are what make it spin and these are extra um, bump stops they're different size actually if you have like a liner or a uh, spray-in bed liner that makes a little higher you can change out to these shorter ones so it'll close better um, they give you some shoddy directions it pretty much gives you pictures doesn't explain in words anything it's they're not that great let's put it that way you got to really figure it out yourself it's not you know this isn't rocket science but they could have been a little better with that so I'm gonna be using all that washers and bolts that I got uh, you're going to need to drill because if you want to use this locking mechanism when you have it open on the tailgate. Now I watched another video and the guy didn't know how to what to do but in the in the instructions it actually tells you right here on your little uh if you have this if you have the workstation uh right between 20 and 21 there's a little little indent there. That's where you're going to drill. That's where that's going that's going to be able to, to lock in. And it tells you right on here, right on these directions. See, it has the uh, right where the right where the little indent is. So there's the headlights. Pretty simple. Two bolts. Unclip the wire harnesses, and that's it. Let's see. Let's see if this is gonna work. So let me get my bolts, my washers, lock nuts. I'm going to see how this goes. So this goes here. This is this side. I do have the 2 kilowatt generator. So once this is folded up, it doesn't really interfere with it. You can move it around if you got to really use it. Um, this is going to go this way, actually. Let's get that installed upside down. Okay. Slide this through. Like that. See, that's gonna. This is gonna turn when you want to flip it to the outside or the inside of the bed. Slide that in. Please lock it in when you have it in a position. Okay, got an 18 millimeter wrench so I could hold my bolt. This in. Oops. 
tight. And you unlock, you want to unlock this and you flip it over. And then when you wrap it on that, you push this one in. Let's see if this, this bolt lines up. I haven't tried it yet. So we unlock this. And the bolt pretty much going to be right there. See it? So I got to drill that out. And then you'll be able to lock this into place. So your uh, load doesn't fly around, get bumped out. So that's that side. And let's see the other side. like when I'm done. Seems tight. I'll show you what it looks like back here. So that's pretty much your setup. What's gonna look like if you can see that, is it blurry? So that's the fix, man. That's all you can do, really. And then, unless someone's got a better idea, I mean, it should work. Okay, let's see how this flows. Fold this over. Should line up. Let's open those up. Lock position. Lock position. And that's it. That's how you're gonna get that to work on your 20, 21 or 22. If you don't have those thread holes on the side, I don't know what Ford was thinking. If it was a COVID mistake and they're rushing stuff out, I mean they're sure damn short on chips. So maybe they're just short on some brains too on you know making these trucks work with the accessories that they want to sell so surprisingly i'm surprised they had that little notch there i think another guy in another video missed it but it wasn't the directions so if you don't have the workstation i don't know what the bed looks like on there so it might be different but i'm sure you could line it up if you wanted to drill a hole you line up where it is and just drill it out so that's pretty much it i'm gonna install these headlights again two 8mm bolts, plug them in, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps.